everyone, my name is Mitz, and here we are back with Turnabout Substitution. So, we get a good old lay of the land here at the crime scene, and even though there is no body to examine, even for autopsy's sake, or even all of that, it definitely seems like, hmm, if the victim isn't quite dead, like, especially since that gun hole, gunshot hole right there on the wall, I think this is supposed to be for, like, head height, there's no blood there, there's blood to the left of it. And it was only fired two shots that we know from the gun, unless the killer brought another weapon to use. So, there, unless the, unless Robert Erlenmeyer is dead, truly dead, or just gravely injured based on the blood right there, and the bloody handprint, then, hmm. But the, like, the body was moved in quick succession. My only first thought is, like, the killer wanted to keep them alive, like they missed once through the bar, or like, like through the wall, and then shot the victim, and then really wanted to get out to firing those two shots, so they quickly just gave the gun over to the judge, who was not unconscious somehow, still don't even think about that, like how that would have been possible, and then covered up the victim's wound with a blood, like with something, a block or anything like that, and just carried him out of the prison? Hmm. It's the only thing I can think of on short notice. You looked at everything else in the room, the bed, the, well, the door came and looked at, the nice gray concrete walls, the ventilation can't be used, the blood on the ground, the gunshot went on the height level of the gun. Hmm. No clues there. I also gotta love, like, the bottom screen of, like, um, uh, the five, like, the five silhouettes down here. It's nice. It's very reminiscent of, um, uh, like, the actual, like, DS games. It's great. I love it. Oh, it's nice. <laughs> It gives it a more, like, official feeling. It's nice. It's a nice touch. I guess we gotta look around a bit more. Oh, yeah, there's a hallway. Huh. What's that in the ground? What's a... Uh, what's a wig doing here? More importantly, how can you lose your wig without noticing it? Hmm. Strange. I could swear I've seen this number before. Uh, okay, then. Someone dropped a wig? <laughs> It belongs to one of the guards. <laughs> There's no <laughs> the killer. No, it's the killer. The culprit is him. Oh, look, it's a. Uh... What are you gonna say, Rio? Look, a ladder. Actually, it's technically a ladder. I know. I just said it. Oh, oh, oh! You're right. My bad. Okay, you misheard and said step ladder. Okay, fine. Someone here understands. Someone here understands. Okay, then. Hmm. So there's nothing else to look around here. So, like, is there anything back at the agency, then? Hmm. Like, is the judge open to talk now? Okay, nope. I, I guess we're missing something in the crime scene, then. Hmm. Thought we looked over everything. What? Okay, I'll just take a look, look again. Still so curious why it's called Siamese cells. Si like, Siamese twins? Something like that. Maybe they present something else. Oh, do we present the wig? Okay, fine then. You no, know, I'm not actually munching it. Okay, yeah, we know that. You just really just want to like to chew your own tongue. Have fun, like, reshaping and, and facial surgery. Have fun with that. Hmm. Do we miss anything else in here? There's the bed, the chain, the blood, the bloody handprint. Hmm. Blood in the wall and the prison bed. Bloody handprint, probably the victims. Hmm. Just a red stain, right? Yep, still there's something bothering me about this one. I'm trying to figure out what you mean by that, though, Rhea. Like, is it because the blood is smeared on the wall itself? Like, is it, like the, the handprint and the blood on the, the bed and wall, like, two different separate things, so... Is it because one's smeared and one's clear to find? Well, I guess it just means, like, the culprit literally just move the body wall. Why isn't there blood on the ground, actually, then, huh? Well, I guess dripping. Well, well, I, I, well, thinking about it now, like, it, it makes things simpler. I guess to, like figure things out. Like I, I just literally went through another mystery game where I'm. Uh, you would think to be like something, like something else on the ground, but for the sake of simplicity's sake, they didn't animate or like draw, like you know, depict it on the ground. So I won't fault it there. So meh. There's the gunshot, the bullet hole. Looks like Erlen Meyer shot in the head. Hmm. Yeah. All of that. Well, there's nothing else. The gun's in the ground, so... Hmm. Don't quite understand what I'm missing, then. The door, there's a latch there. That reminds me a lot of, um, uh, 
Presentable Liberty. That's a great game. I'm so sad about what happened to the creator, though. You know. Can't talk to Sky, but he can't talk to you. You're missing something. Hmm. Oh! Oh, I, did, oh, I, I, I thought I did present the gun, huh? Oh, you found it! Sherlock Holmes would have been proud of you. Oh my gosh. Okay, Captain Obvious here, Sherlock Holmes this. No, actually, it's not Sherlock Holmes, it's Herlock Holmes. Thank you very much. Hi, don't you even- have you read our great history books? Alright, here's information for you. The gun has Judge's Chamber's fingerprints on it. Oh, okay, that's why we have to do, okay. I was completely lost for a second. The thing in the bullet you found matches the gun perfectly, making it the murder weapon. But according to Chambers, the weapon was fired twice. Hmm. Oh, absolutely! One bullet missed, the other is still in Erlen Meyer's body. Huh. How can he miss at such close range? Yeah, I, I really came to that, like, conclusion thinking back on it now. Especially, like, in the cell, cell bars, and, like, if they were standing inside the cell itself, if they had the keys to it? We just unlock the door. Hmm. Interesting. Well, your client certainly doesn't look like the sharpest sniper around. May have been his first time using a gun. Why was it? Why was a judge carrying a gun in the first place? Well, it's definitely um, uh, way much more of a deadly weapon than a gavel would then be. So, huh? Because it's more effective than a gavel. <sighs> God damn it! Well, then I always say that. Like, I remember those like the little one another Phoenix Wright case where the gavel was a murder weapon. So, um, uh, nuts to you. They're dangerous. Well, as you probably know, guns aren't that easy to come by these days. <gasps> yeah, there was mentioned investigations as well. <laughs> yes, I do know that. Hmm. I'm sorry, Apollo. I, I can't reveal information. Not yet. Okay, so, well, obviously the gun was found in Judge's hand, so of course his fingers would be on it. But, like, what are you not revealing? Like, like does the gun belong to the judge? But, like, that just seemed like something simply to say. Who does the gun belong to? Would it belong to the, the security guard, actually? Oh, that'd actually be, make a lot of sense. Both to get past him out of the, the, the asylum security, then like, oh, the culprit knocked out the knocked out a guard, took the gun, and just shot the victim then. Ooh. Well, judging by the evidence, it looks like your client is guilty this time. Uh, that's what they say every time. So I'm, uh, Shushima. The sky may be blue here, but this case is not as obvious as you may seem. There really is no other solution. Are you still gonna defend him? Do you have no honor? I fight for justice. It's my name. And I'm pretty sure Apollo's middle name is fine, based on how many times he says it. If not, change it. I don't know. I I don't know what to think anymore. Uh, don't... Why are you beating yourself about this, Apollo? You have lie detector bracelet. You should know. You should knows. But you know how you feel, Apollo. You know Chambers. He's fickle. He's afraid of his responsibilities. <laughs> He does keep swaying his verdict in the court, so yes. Murder is an irreparable decision, much like a verdict. Chamber just doesn't have what it takes. But what if it's all a facade? Okay, well, I know, I was going to say, like... Actually, it's a good point. We barely know him at all. We only see him talking in, like, very, very small bits. And by this point, you only talk to him and see him in action in four separate cases. So, um, uh, I can't quite blame you. Oh, interesting. So you tend to prove your case based on barroom psychology. Huh. It's been a hot minute since I heard something like that. Hmm. Well, I wish you good luck then. Better interrupt them. Uh, thanks for everything, Emma. Thanks for what? Thanks for being a good-for-nothing detective? Oh, you're a detective now. Weren't you just an uh, investigator now? Oh, wait, no, I'm, conf I'm conflating a a another story. Oh, no, never mind. Pardon me, I think, anyway. But, scientifically speaking, the investigation didn't reveal anything new. No, wait, no, you weren't a scientific investigator, though. You were, like, just a patrolman, I thought? No, you were a detective, actually. Hmm. My brain is getting mixed up in the details. This is why I have notes. <laughs> scientifically speaking, the investigation didn't reveal anything new. A patrolman could have solved this case. But, this is even more depressing than an empty bag of snackoos. Weren't you eating out of an empty bag, then? Or just chewing your own lips <laughs> and tongue? Oh, and th that reminds me. God damn it. Okay, the little bag is still full. I actually thinking about it, like looking at it. What does that like the like, Japanese kanji like read say? Was well, that actually? Well, the first. No, it's kanji. I wonder if that was look like if that was changed to be something localized in the 
the English like DS game, Paula Justice. I can't recall that now. Huh. Right, we better okay. Never mind. Thanks. Well, free snacks. <laughs> Chocolate rain. Some stays dry and others feel the pain. You know, I was gonna lambast that a bit, but like at the same time, there was like, God damn it, all the milk shakes bring the boys to the yard in the, in the third game. <sighs> what cruel times we live in. <laughs> you can talk now, but I won't be listening. I'm going to the precinct. Feel free to drop by any time. Well, hold on a second. Wait a second. Does it line up well with the... Wait, never mind. The timeline of events of the, the games. What was it like? I'm pretty sure, like, some of the games, like, the first game, like, takes place somehow, like, 2018 or something like that, right? Hmm. I'm trying to think of the whole timeline in my head now. It's been so long. Eh. Ah, uh, first episode of Kinetic Court. And I had a whole timeline prepared, and now I don't. This is why I have notes. Okay, see... There she goes. Okay, I'll we'll have, to, we'll have to smack around some other person with the snack ooze. <laughs> the golden snack ooze are going to be the toughest thing ever. Just bop that on someone's head and they die immediately. Be careful. A simple case, huh? Almost too simple. Almost like a setup. You're telling me. <laughs> okay, then. I guess we can move now. Okay. So... Um, oh, okay. Okay, there's someone new! There's something new. Excuse me! Oh, God, no. Sir! Officer Mike Meek is reporting, sir! God. <gasps> Who needs cords of steel when you have this? Well, he has a megaphone, so, yeah. Uh, yes. What is it? I'm looking for an asylum, sir! An asylum! Uh, we're in one right now. You're sitting right in front of it. Wait, excuse me, sir, but are you a police officer? Damn, that's- it's contagious. Uh, sir! I mean, sure, sir! Uh, I mean, not exactly, sir. If you had to label me as a police officer or prison guard, sir, then label me prison guard! Okay, a prison guard, that's interesting. Okay, so police officer first, then a courtroom bailiff, now prison guard. And you still have the same uniform. You stole it. Oh my gosh, you're a thief. Okay. So what are you doing here anyway? Uh, excuse me, sir, but are you an attorney with hideous horns? Uh, uh what? Why? Because, uh, sir, I was told not to say anything to the attorneys with hideous horns, sir. Well, these are not hideous. These are beautiful. That's a big difference right here. Are you an attorney with hideous horns, sir? Uh, nope. What's wrong with this guy? Oh, sir, were you by any chance involved in the Erlen Meyer incident? Oh, God, don't tell me he's the prison guard. Oh, no. Uh, sir, yes, sir. Okay, this all makes sense. Oh, my God, how they still let you have a gun around? Oh, my God. Oh, no. Well, if, if you're, like, the prison guard, then who are you supposed to figure out who the suspect is now? God damn it. You're too nut to do anything like this. I'm not sure she qualifies as a sir. Madame. The prosecution the prosecutor had to deal with a personal emergency, so I had to replace him. Her, the prosecu prosecutor. Could you please tell us about what happened last night, sir? Uh, sir, yes, sir! Okay, that's quick thinking, actually, Rhea. Okay, nice. Your role in the incident. Okay. I'm a lost little prison guard, like a lost little lamb, sir. Oh, God. He already lost me. Well, then count some sheep, then. I was only doing what I was trying to do, sir! Which is? Oh, my mission is simple, yet formidable. Anyone who wants to visit a cell has to go through me! Through! Like a ghost? Most people don't do it because it's forbidden, sir, so it means they're not allowed to do it. So, basically, you get paid for daydreaming. Yes. And now thinking about it, oh my god, both the gun and the keys came from him. Oh no. This is gonna be impossible to prove now. But yesterday, sir, something incredible happened. I saw a suspicious person, sir. A suspicious person! An awe-inspiring creature with August candy floss like beard and stately lollipop like head. That's the judge? What do you mean lollipop like head? Candy floss. That would be Chambers. Then why'd you let him through? Uh, believe it or not, sir, all prison guards are required to wear a uniform. So that we don't confuse them with surgeons or squirrels. I'm not gonna touch upon that. I'm pretty sure squirrels don't even wear uniforms. A uniform like this. We all wear it without exception, sir. Objection! Then why aren't you wearing one? Oh yeah, that was a different color. Uh, oh, it's a long story. 
Let's no, no, let's not go there, Apollo. <laughs> so what about this distinguished? So what about this distinguished outfit? Was the oh god, don't tell me the judge was wearing it, or you saw someone who looked like the judge wearing it? Oh, it's the whole thing where the wig was actually used to mimic the judge. Oh, it's not it's not a wig for the head; it's a wig for the beard. Ah, ingenious, actually. Uh, believe it or not, sir, I don't believe it, Mr. Defendant, the, the Chambers, yes, he was wearing one. Wearing, oh god. Okay, so we're dealing with someone who is, um, uh, based the Steel Samurai situation all over again. Disguises. Costumes. What? Uniform to the correct record. The next question is, how'd they get a uniform? Hmm. And that is why, sir, I had no choice but to obey his orders. Imperputable, I glided to the quarters with a fearless poise and a map. A mere ten minutes later, and my mission was complete, sir. Though I didn't witness the exact moment of the crime, I could certify that Mr. Chambers was in an airline cell when it happened. Truth one, justice zero. Damn you, truth. Hmm. Unless you, like, hmm. I'm still banking on, like, you not recognize the judge, but, like, he definitely was there to visit the victim, so... It's hard to make a work a way around that, so, uh... Is there anything else you'd like to add? Well, actually, uh, sir, if you had to label me as having something significant to say or not having anything to say, in particular, then I'd say I'd lean heavily on the having something significant to say side. Just say it. Like, honestly, like, he's fun. He's a fun character. He's just great. <laughs> oh, God, I have a bad feeling about this. So, there's something significant to say. Is there something very significantly significant you have to say? Significantly, stately to say? Uh, sir, now remember, sir. There's another reason why I thought Mr. Chambers was a senior officer, sir. A senior officer, sir? After all, there's no mistaking a gun when you see one, sir. Wait, what? Huh. W w w what? I, I don't believe it. Chambers, he... He brought the murder weapon with him. This can only mean... No. Wait a minute. You made him... You mean you let him through because he was carrying a gun? Is it like a weird status symbol around here or something like that? Or are you too chicken? Exactly, sir. That's exactly it. Oh, God. Nothing could be more exact, sir. Nothing. This guy should really donate his brain to science. Okay, thank you, Mr. Meekins. You've been more than helpful. No, sir. You should be the one thanking me. But that's why I just did... <sighs> Never mind. Okay, I'm, uh, we should probably get out of here post ice before we, um, uh, blow our eardrops out some more. I have to get some <laughs> surgery. In any case, this makes your Kate client look very bad, Apollo. If Mike Meekins takes the witness stand tomorrow, the prosecution won't be able to prove the murder was premeditated. Let's hope Judge doesn't turn out to be a dictatorial duckbill diplo di diplodocus. What? Better go talk to him. Oh yeah, oh, that's like actually thinking about it. The judge is actually, well, obviously the judge is going to be something different. Is it going to, the judge is going to be his brother or be, well, it'd be too conflict of interest wise. So like someone new, huh? Hmm. Well, hon, well, I, I don't want to hear this sound anymore, but like, let's move on a bit more. Oh, the song is not good, but like I'm a uh, uniform, but it's definitely different from the, what Mike Meekins is wearing, but I'm a, uh, all prison guards are required to wear it. Chambers used it to disguise himself as Meekins superior officer. Okay, this is someone, like, literally disguising himself with a wig and the out outfit on with a gun in hand to, like, go through. But based on what Mike Meekins said was, like, so a gun, like, means, like, if you have a gun, like, you're a hard-positioned security guard in the place. Huh. Hmm. That's gonna be something important to note. Okay, can we talk to the judge here and ask about all that? Hello. Rhea, what a lovely surprise. Oh, okay, you actually do know each other. Well, I wasn't doubting it, but you know what I mean. Aji Bear! <laughs> Aji Bear. How nice of you to come visit me! How are you doing? This is no holiday weekend, Ajio. We're not here to play bridge. What? Look at you, you're behind bars, behind a glass wall at least. I couldn't care less about myself. We'll get you out of here, Judge. I promise. Oh, that's so sweet of you, but... D don't worry about me, I'll be fine. If that's true, then why does he look as though he's about to burst into tears? Oh my. Judge? Ah, oh, Mr. Justice. You're probably wondering what all, what all this meant. Rhea is a friend of mine. We met at the trial. 
I had severe back pains at the time, and she was kind enough to give me a ride home every evening. Oh. I'm so glad you two have met. Oh, this reminds me of my youth. Don't bring up lemons, don't bring up lemons. So you don't have time to talk about the good old days. Okay, good. <laughs> ah, the good old days. It reminds me of the sweet scent of fresh limes. Hmm. <laughs> yes, you're probably right. However, we do have some questions regarding the incident. Well, go ahead. Ask me anything. Okay, first question. I'm, uh, haunts again. Moto Conspiracy Mysterious Visitor. Can we just present this outfit right now? Let's get out of the system. Your Honor, what do you think about this evidence? Uh, I'm not sure I follow you. Uh, well, okay. It clearly contradicts the... Uh, I thought... You also have very sure, Mr. Justice? Rejection denied. This never gets old. <laughs> My gosh. Mysterious Visitor. The man you were talking to a moment ago. His name is Paul Strings. He's the new Chief Justice. Oh. Huh. Hmm. A very powerful man. What does the Constitution say about his power level? Oh, God. It doesn't say much, I'm afraid. What, 9,000? Wait, I thought you'd say... You see... Uh, never mind. Why are you trying to do a pop culture reference with him? He's not gonna get it. I think, anyway. Meh. Anyway, how is he related to you? Well, we're not exactly friends, but we have a strong professional relationship. What does this dot dot dots indicate here? The Virginian scandal highlighted the need for sound and transparent ju jurisdictions. Chief Strings represents a new generation of jurists, more concerned with ethics than politics. Hmm. Wait, I'm trying to remember this. Wait, wasn't it a thing in the third case of like I'm a a police chief or a something chief, like chief, like a like a chief prosecutor actually like like getting a, a Virginian cocoon just to like try to like I'm a cure his son. Is this the same chief? Huh. Well, that kind of just means that I'm, uh, he managed to get away with a crime, and if he's still working strong, then. Huh. Well, power can get you through anything, then, huh? Chief Strings represents a new generation of jurists, more concerned with ethics and politics. Oh, we're still going jurists, then. Huh. Nice. He's competent, trustworthy, and yes, I guess you could say that I respect his work. I see. So what were you two talking about? He also has a son. Okay, you're just gonna gloss over that. You didn't answer my question. Hmm. I missed the last part of that statement, but... Hmm. Oh god, it's the, it's the lie detector to the bracelet now time. My bracelet? It's reacting. Anyway, that reminds me. He said he wants a word with you in his office. Okay. I guess it's not more he's lying, but more he's hiding something. The Chief Justice's office, huh? Could this be related to our case? Hmm. Oh, I guess the next next place to go to then, huh? Before we were interrupted, I believe I was asking you why you had to visit Erlenmeyer today. This is about Artie, isn't it? Artie? Artie? Arthur Chambers, Judge's younger brother. What? Oh. Oh. Wait, you don't mean... He wasn't, was he? Yes. Arthur Chambers was one of Erlen Meyer's victims. This just paints you in even worse light since you now have a motive and you were carrying, seen carrying a gun if that really was you in a prisoner's outfit. Oh boy. What? This may not be the best place to talk about it. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I didn't know. That's alright, you were investigating murder after all. You have the right to know. It was Christmas Eve. I received a letter from Merlin Meyer. He promised he would explain everything to me if I came to visit him. My brother had died. Why on earth he committed such a monstrous crime? I really wanted to know if I meant breaking the law. So his brother, too, was killed by Erlenmeyer. Break the law? Oh, yeah, like, you're not, like, I don't think you're allowed to visit anywhere, like, that middle of the night, so... Oh, that's, oh god, that's why you were wearing a costume, then. Okay, this is not looking too good. At all. Hmm. Now I can see why you would sympathize with Rhea. Wait a minute. This means... This means it's a clear motive. The prosecution isn't going to let such an opportunity pass by. Well, shit. <laughs> we probably shouldn't mention the letter of the trial tomorrow. Uh, they're probably already found out by this point. <laughs> if they already ransacked him up. Uh, well, 
I just like left a letter around in his home. Uh, it's probably gonna be found already. If not, then I'm uh, mm, it's gonna look even worse. Then I'm uh, we don't bring it up. And they bring it up. Oh boy. When investigating the crime scene, we found plenty of evidence incriminating you. Not only did you bring the murder weapon with you, but you also went as far as disguise yourself to fool the prison guards. So let me put this straight. You didn't do it, did you? Wait, why is this, like, why is Judge's name, like, changed to Udgy? <laughs> I mean, there must be an explanation for all this, right? Right? You know, that's actually, uh, that's funny thinking about, like, how Damon Gant, like, just, like, shortened him, uh, <laughs> like, just changed, like, his profession to, like, Udgy. And if it's, like, actually his name, that makes it even better. <laughs> makes it even funnier. But whoever named, named Judge, Judge as a kid. Were you boys as a kid, Judge? <laughs> I mean, there must be an explanation for all this, right? Right? The gun, the uniform, they were not my idea. I received them in a package along with a the letter. They were part of early Myers' conditions. So you followed along with what a serial killer told you. Hmm. Mm, nice. Nice, nice. Wow. And the person who sent them to you was none other than the victim himself. Hmm. It appears so. Hmm. Okay, so let's review what we know here. First, you were told to meet Robin Erlenmeyer armed with a gun. Hmm. Then once in his cell, you suddenly lost consciousness. The, the rhyme and reason for that is eluding us right now. When you finally came to, you were being arrested on charges of murder. Hmm. If, like, we- if Apollo Death had to, like, a, a lie from the bracelet, he's not lying with the, I guess, like, falling unconscious part, but it's a- Doctors did not detect anything. Hmm. When you finally came to, you're being arrested on charges of murder. Hmm. Now, if you're telling the truth, there's only one conclusion to draw from all this. Mr. Chambers, you were framed. Uh, that's indicative of all other cases, so. And the one who framed you is the one who wrote the letter. Oh, that's true, actually. If, like, the letter, uh, like, arranged a time and place to meet up, or, like, all this, with the letter and all that, and the and Robert Erlen Meyer did actually send the, send the letter, then like prison, like prisoner, like prisons, and like even like I'm assuming the same sounds like read through le mail and letters just to be sure. So like they would know ahead of time about that, but Mike Meekins wasn't told about that. He's seen other clues about that. Hmm. So that means the culprit wanted you to be there at a specific place to frame you. Hmm. Well then. They want to. They use your position of power as a judge, to like, so they can easily get in quickly. And if Mike Meekins was the one on guard duty, and he was the only one, and he led you through, there's no one else on guard duty. Oh my, the, the front desk was unmanned. And there's no camera there. Oh geez, oh boy. Oh, Robert Erlenmeyer! No, unless it was a elaborate suicide, Erlenmeyer is the only one who couldn't have done it. Uh, how exactly do you. Shoot yourself and go. It's one thing of like I'm uh it's like, hmm. They really just wanted his body and they wanted to injure him, so it's definitely not a suicide. Cause like there's a lot of blood there, the looks of it. Hmm. But if we check the handwriting, Apollo, are you out of your mind? If you present this letter, Judge might be found innocent in charge of murder. But he will then be forced to admit that he purposely broke the law. Uh, yeah, okay. We can't have that happen, Apollo. That's the only evidence we have. You're not going to submit that evidence to the court. But why? Because it doesn't exist anymore. I was told to burn the letter as soon as I read it. Oh. Oh. Okay. You know, you're kind of reminding me of Yin Yogi a bit from the first game. He got the same exact um, uh, letter from the real culprit. I was able to burn it, but I'm uh, he forgot to. You're not looking. You're just making yourself look good. Parallels all over the place, thematic-wise, writing-wise. Oh yay! Oh boy! Oh wow! Oh, that's too bad. Of course, I told him to burn it. Really, Apollo. Anyone with half a brain could have figured that out. Letter added to the court record. The non-existent letter, you say? Oh wow. Well, thank you, Judge. Thank you for telling the truth. Well, um, see you at tomorrow's trial, then. Huh. Well, 
Well, all right then. Well, that's quite a lot to go through. Well, where's that letter then? Peru Chambers was following instructions from a mysterious person. The person who's named the Bus Killings. First name Bus, last name Killings. The Mysterious. Though technically it doesn't exist, I'm sure it'll be useful. Somehow. Hmm. Well, that's quite a few things to look at. Well, well, okay, well, my lord, there goes that whole wig idea thrown out the window. If that was tr truly judge and all that, but then what is the wig for? Hmm. That's something to think about then. A uniform. Hmm. God, this is like, really everything, like, is painting towards making judge look bad. There's nothing overtly suspicious about anyone else currently. The only thing is, this wig, but, like, someone just dropped it. A riddle wrapped in a, in a mystery wrapped inside an enigma was from the asylum. I wasn't doing there. Uh, I have no idea. I have no idea what to make of it. Hmm. Well, this is quite enlightening. Things aren't looking too good. So, you use a... <laughs> judge used a guard uniform, was carrying a gun, and just went up there. Why did you think it was a good idea to carry a gun, though? Oh, because oh, but the letter because the letter would explain them. Uh, because all the higher up guards would, like let you through easily with no hassle. That is ingenious, actually. Wow. Okay. Hmm. And the the I guess the people who have a motive to like both to get Erlen Meyer. The list is pretty high. That's going to be something. We need to learn more about the mysterious bus killings. I guess at some point... Well, Rhea could tell us all about it at some point or some other way. She reform it. If she wants to talk about it because of her brother thing. Because of what happened with her brother, but... Uh, yeah. Really, the, I do love the character so far. God damn it, Mike Meekins returned. And all that. Oh, God damn it. He's fun, but he can be grating at times. I don't want to hear that microphone... Just the megaphone just blaring constantly, day in and day out, getting hearing loss, but... Oh boy. Okay, so next time, we'll head off into ju ju Chief Justice, like, no, Chief Strings' chambers, his office, and see what else we can figure out for more from there. We can figure out exactly why he's part of the song, how his connection is to the judges. Hmm. We all just need to go about here. It's be a good time for us to leave this off here and go there for next time. So, for fun to watch as I am playing this, hope to see me next time, what time may be, and I'll hope a fantastic day.